Welcome everyone to a massive unboxing and first impressions video. I've been waiting for this fragrance for such a long time and I finally have it and I'm going to unbox it to you guys today. And the fragrance is, are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf. My shout outs to my mother for copping this fragrance for me. Came in the mail today. I was so psyched. I had no idea. Freaking love her for that. Beautiful fragrance. It's just, even the box is beautiful. I don't care what you say, but I think it's just beautiful. I've heard so much good things about this. Can't wait to get into this and see what it looks like too. It's not bad. Alright, let's get into the unboxing. So after a long days of camp, raining hard, so hard in New York, and I come home, I see this in the mail, my mom goes open it, I'm like, okay, I open it, Spice Bomb, Jesus Christ and Spice Bomb, definitely dropped the bomb of my day, the bomb of happiness, okay, voila, ooh, so beautiful. There it is. Can't really get a smell of it. Actually, you can. I won't tell you it's great, no. Oh, wait, we gotta take the stopper off, right? Duh! Duh! He has a little stopper, kind of like, you know, they about to throw a grenade. And you go, Psh! but this is too beautiful to throw. Let's and get a whiff. Oh, that is so nice. Very warm and cinnamony. If that's a word, I'll say it's a word. Cinnamon, cinnamony. So nice. Oh, so warm. It's very, very. It's not really. It's not really like spicy, the kind of not like not like that pepper bomb like I was thinking it was going to be. It's more like cinnamony, very warm fragrance. You could probably kill some people if you wore this in the dead of the summer, but I probably wouldn't do that. <sighs> so nice. I'm in love with this fragrance right now. I hyped it for a reason. Just you just smell all day long. So nice. Okay, well, yeah, that's Spice Bomb. Victor and Ralph. You know, it's so nice. Very, it's a very clunky sprayer. It's definitely a unique sprayer. Oh boy, that is so sexy. Definitely recommend this. Probably out of all the unboxings slash first impression videos I've done, this is without a doubt. My highly, the most highly recommended out of the four. We've had Valium Sport, Diesel, Zero Plus Masculine, and Diesel Plus Plus. Out of those four, and Spice Bomb, out of those four, including Spice Bomb, I recommend this a million times old. You would be a fool not to pick this up. The only thing I have, I mean, it's, it's no, it's not to the point where the cinnamon chokes you out. It's, it's, it's subtle to the point where it won't bother someone's nose. It has enough potency to it where someone can really smell it set and want to come smell you some more. So it's definitely nice. I recommend, highly recommend it. Okay, well, got that. Put the little thingy back on it. Good. That's good. Beautiful. Alright, now. We're going to update my collection of, of clones I have. Well, here's the box, so if you want to see that. Here you go. Actually, you know what? There's something cool in this I want to read to you guys. It's on the back here. I doubt you can read that, but I'll read it to you. Become an elite member of the Victor and Roll Secret Service by entering this unique code on www.secretservice.victorrolf.com. Benefit from exclusive privileges. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Probably gonna, I might look into that. Depends on how everything comes out. I mean, I'm not too, I'm not too 
just psyched about entering it, but maybe it all depends on what it is. If I hear it from someone else who did enter it. Alright, well, that's the box. That's the fragrance. Now let's get into the collection video. I have. I have one, two, three, four, five um, clones to show you today. I'll save them. My favorites are last. First, we have Curve by Liz Claiborne. It's pretty generic. Dull. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. So it doesn't have that wow factor like Spice Bomb does. You know, I got it as a little gift for Christmas. What is that? Um, it's in like 0.5 fluid ounces. Yeah. It's cool. But it's alright. It's nothing that wows me, but it's nothing that makes me want to gag. So that's Kirk. Next one is Dracon Noir by Gala Roche. Ooh, that's very, this is very strong. Kind of the fragrance that if you're not expecting it, it definitely could hit you. It's, it's very strong. It's like has some, some old man smelling yet. This this kind of reminds me of if you were to have your grandfather come home from a barber shop and you have old guys cutting his hair and shaving him, this is what he'd come out smelling like. It's, not, it's nice, very strong. I would suggest uh, use a sprayer wisely because you can really hurt some people. Got the DK logo on the top of the cap. Not Donkey Kong. You're part of the law. Okay, DK. Good. We got three more left. Very small bottle of Paul Sebastian's. Paul Sebastian's, uh, I do believe. If I'm wrong on the name, please correct me. But I don't think I got it. Let's smell this. This one has. It's definitely another older smelling fragrance. Definitely probably wouldn't make it. If it was re released today, probably want people who would buy it, people like me, because I do enjoy this fragrance. This is kind of invokes memories. Because I was younger, when I was young enough to care about how I look, but to not really old enough to appreciate cologne. My father has the bigger version of this, and I always used to go in his room and spray it on me before any of any parties. I think on a nine year old, it smells really weird considering how of an older. This is definitely someone forty and up to wear this easily. I wear it occasionally, but I kind of put off that older person vibe. So, Paul Sebastian, very small. Kind of sucks. Doesn't even have a sprayer. It's kind of a splasher. I don't like splashers. Two more. This is another fragrance that I think is very nice, and I don't really hear people talking about it. It's Gravity by Cody. C O T Y. Cody. It's not an either toilet or a clone spray. Probably it's probably one of the weaker concentrations you can get of a fragrance. It's very nice. It's hard to explain what it is. I mean probably more experienced guys in the fragrance game can tell you what it smells like, but I can't. It's pleasing. It's it's not it's generic but not overly generic. Like if I had to choose the generic award Winner, it would be Curve. But this is kind of in the running, but not like Curve is. Curve is King Generic. But don't get me wrong, Generic isn't a bad thing. I'd rather it be generic than smelling like than unique ass, if that makes sense. So yeah, got that. One more left. Definitely got I, mean, I gotta get more of this stuff. Suede, I guess. Very very nice bottle. I love this stuff. It's it's warm yet cooling. I think this could be a signature fragrance as long as you just go easy on the sprayer and know how to use it. Pretty much any fragrance could be a signature fragrance as long as you just use it right. But some people just don't want to use fragrances. So that's just my opinion. Very nice. 
it's not too overpowering with it. Nothing like this. This is another fragrance where I think more kids of my age would kind of steer away from because it's not very fresh and fruity. Like, I think out of all the fragrance I have, the Curve would not be another fragrance that most of the kids my age would wear from 19. So, but occasional kid who's kind of more mature or doesn't like the generic smell of this would lean more towards this or even this. So, yeah. That's my video for today. So, we had the first impression and unboxing of Spice Bomb. And we had another updated video of my cologne collection. Alright, guys. I really, really, really appreciate all the support you've been giving me on my videos. Liking, subscribing. Just keep doing that. I'll keep putting out videos. Alright, well... For my American friends, have a great 4th of July coming up. My Canadian friends, Rogues 8, today is Canada Day, July 1st, so enjoy that mark. And everyone else, and just enjoy your day. Be happy and keep on smiling. Have a great day, and goodbye.